You've been watching the news, you've been seeing the headlines, you've even seen titles to some videos here on YouTube about hurry and stock up. I do promote having a food storage and stocking up, but you should never do it out of fear. Well, it's that time of year here in Utah where the stores are doing their case lot sales. It is cool that our stores here sell it like this. It's pretty convenient, but not everything is the deal, you guys. Here are my top tips that you need to know so you can stock up wisely. Today, I'm going into Macy's to check out their bulk sale. You don't need to wait for a store to start selling in bulk for you to get a good deal. Whenever there is a sale, check the sale compared to the other prices in your area. And if it's good, stock up. You can grab one for now, two for later, or what I like to do is grab 12 for later, or if I can get 24 of them, I'll get 24. Usually when they sell it in bulk like this, it's usually at a discount, but it's a discount for this store's regular price. The sale is pretty comparable to the normal prices of, at least in my area, Walmart and Winco. I did my homework this time on this case lot sale, and not all of this is something to run in and grab. Right now, canned vegetables are on sale for 59 cents a can. So you can get a case of 24 for $14.16. You save 40 cents, their regular price is 99 cents a can. That stinks because I remember last year it being 49 cents a can, so a case of 24 was $11.76. Last year and this year, Walmart is still selling some of their canned vegetables for 50 cents a can. I'll save nine cents a can if I stock up at Walmart. I was at Winco earlier today to check out their prices for this case lot sale, and there were some things I bought there versus buying here. Winco beat out Macy's by only one cent for their canned vegetables. The only benefit of getting it here is because they have the surplus to be able to buy more. Walmart is not putting a whole lot out on their shelves in order for me to stock up. So I have to weigh the pros and cons, and right now, convenience might just win for me. The nine cents more can I'm paying is for the convenience of it all. And this is the time of year when I do stock up on my food storage, and I have the budget for it. Another go-to item that I love to buy in bulk is mandarin oranges. They're a 10.5 ounce can, and they're normally priced here at Macy's at $1.79 but they're on sale for 99 cents. Not bad, Walmart beats it out at 98 cents a can, but the winner was Winco. I picked them up there today for 57 cents a can. Their store versions of cream of soups, they're selling for 89 cents a can, normally $1.49. So wow, you saved 60 cents a can. The other low price store in my area, Winco, sells it normally for $1.14. So yeah, if you're comparing it to the other store in town, Winco, yeah, that's a good savings. But Walmart's store brand, Great Value, it's regularly priced at 68 cents a can. But you could just go a little further down the road to Walmart and save a lot more. If you want to buy the name brand, they're selling them for 99 cents a can. And they normally have a price for $1.79. Well, Walmart normally sells them for $1.26 a can. So this is actually a good deal on name brand, cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup. But I don't mind paying 68 cents a can for the Walmart brand just further down the road. To me, cream of soup is cream of soup. When there's sales and you're stocking up, focus on your go-to items that you use for your favorite meals. Pineapple is something that I definitely stock up on once or twice a year. Macy's is selling a variety of pineapple in 20 ounce cans. The sale is three for $5. That comes out to $1.66 a can and they're normally $2.89. So according to their sale, you're gonna save $1.23 a can. If they weren't having this sale, I could go to Smith's and pay $1.79. But the best deal is at Walmart and Winco for a 20 ounce can for $1.28. So when I was at Winco today, I picked up some pineapple. We do use dry beans, but for our go-to recipes, we grab cans of Great Northern beans, black beans, pinto beans, and kidney beans. Now compared to all the other stores in my area, they sell their beans normally at 78 cents a can but see their normal price is 89 cents so if you always shop at this store and you're always paying 89 cents for a can of beans yeah, score, you're gonna stock up, right? But the other stores in the area already have them normally priced at 78 cents a can. You could stock up now if it's in your budget and you wanna have it on your shelf, but you could just go stock up at the other stores at any time. Now, if you're keeping an eye out of prices in your area, then you have a general idea of what you're willing to pay for for something. 
their store brand is Food Club, and they have some pasta sauce on sale for, for $5. You can get a case of 12 for 15, or you can just buy it individually for that price. It's gonna make this sauce $1.25 a jar. At Winco, it was $1.58 a jar for their store price, and Walmart is $1.48. So $1.25 for their pasta sauce is actually a good deal. Am I gonna buy a whole case of them? I don't think so. I think I'm, I'll grab a few. When the stores have these case lot sales, I also go over and find this item on the shelf because other varieties of this item will also be on sale. There's more choices over here than there were over there. Hunt's pasta sauce is on sale for 88 cents and that is way lower than the other stores in my area. I'm not a big fan of the Hunt sauce, but if you add some more things to it, more seasoning, it's really good. For 88 cents for this size, that, that's a really good deal. It's normally here $1.99. Like all their canned tomatoes are 69 cents a can. Normally 99 cents a can for their store brand. And Walmart usually has their canned tomatoes like this for 88 cents. So this is a good deal. Winco, but it is far from me. They normally have them priced at 68 cents a can. They are not a grocery store that I'm always nearby, but today I was near it. But I knew I wanted tomatoes, so I'd rather get them in a box already packaged and wrapped, easier to bring home, than save that penny. Like, to me, this is worth the penny. So I will be grabbing some tomatoes today. Yes, it's cheaper to get bouillon and make your own broth, but I love getting these canned broths for convenience. I always stock up on chicken and beef, and it's on sale for 79 cents, normally $1.39. But Walmart's brand is always 72 cents. I could grab this now and it's already packaged and I could bring it home. I have some on my shelf, but I am low and I don't like being that low. But Walmart doesn't stock their shelves like they used to. I think I'm gonna take the hit of this one. One key factor is to consider the unit price. Now this is the price per unit of weight or volume, like price per pound or price per ounce. And it's very important to compare the unit price of the bulk item with the unit price of the same item in a smaller package to see if you're really getting a good deal. I like to compare them to other stores as well, even if it's a different size. This 25 pound bag of pinto beans here at Costco is $18.99. That's 76 cents per pound. And this 20 pound bag of pinto beans here at Macy's, they're selling it for $17.99. That's 90 cents per pound. Their regular price was $23.99. You save $6. Yeah, that's a good deal for this store. Costco, I can get five more pounds for a dollar more and 76 cents a pound. So I'm gonna skip this this and go to Costco. Every item of food that comes into your home should have a purpose. If you're not into macaroni and cheese, then don't buy a case of macaroni and cheese. But it's good to have things for longer shelf life as well. I do get asked what you should buy in bulk. I would focus on shelf-stable food like pasta, rice, cereal, dried beans, and non-perishable items like canned food, oils, and sugar. This was a good deal on sugar. Flours, bread flours, wheat flour, unbleached all-purpose flour. These are great things to have on hand, and you can make a staple of recipes. In an upcoming video, you're gonna see how I store some of these items. And I'm gonna let you in on what I bought from this bulk sale. And click on the playlist below where you can start building your food storage month by month. I give you a whole out Line, how to do this for a whole year to build your rotating pantry. I'll meet you over there. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.